All right, Mr. Mullis again back here at Mercer Machine Shop, and we left off on the lathe with uh, putting a piece on center and getting ready to turn it. Okay, so what I've done here, I've got it set up, and we're going to go in here and touch our tool off. Okay. And then we're going to be turning the feed on, and the, the carriage is going to feed this way, because that's turning. If you'll remember, facing was going using the cross feed and going that way. Turning, the carriage is going to be engaged to go this way. All right, so naturally you have to come over here to your sheet, get your speeds and feeds set up, and then you check your feed to make sure it's going the correct way, and then go in and touch off and start turning. All right. Now, I'm going to check it. Like I said, I always do this. Just check it to make sure your, your carriage is going the right way. See the hand wheels turning this way, so that's the correct direction. All right. So now, we've got to go in and touch off on our part. Now, when you touch off, just like in facing, you do it by hand. You turn your machine on and you come up with your tool. Now we're going to be using a right handed tool bit, okay? A right handed tool bit for turning, left handed tool bit for facing. When you touch off, come up and touch the part with the end of your tool just to make a little chip, okay? As soon as you see a little chip come off your part, that means you're touched off. You want a zero. Your DRO up here, okay, and the X, and then you can start your turning. Now, I'm going to give you a dimension to turn here. When you come to the shop and actually do this, we'll give you a different dimension. Naturally, you'll have a print to go by when you start making your handle, so you'll have to determine how much you need to take off. Just for this demonstration, we're just going to take off a little bit of material and show you how to do it, okay? All right, so here we go. We're going to touch off. Okay. We're going to dial in 30 thousandths on our DRO. We're going to cut the feet on. And we're going to watch it cut. Now when you're turning, it's a good idea to watch your live center to make sure it's spinning the whole time. Okay. You want your your piece to be supported on that live center. And it's got to be turning. Okay, that tells you that your piece is on there. If your live center stops turning, that means your your part has either been um, pushed up into the up into the three jaw chuck, which can happen, or maybe you're loose up here and it's and it's coming loose off of your part. So make sure you're supported on that live center the whole time you're turning. Anytime you use a live center, make sure it stays engaged on the end of your part or you can mess up your, your part, okay? All right, so that's the, that's the turning demonstration. And the next, what we're going to look at is knurling, okay? I'll see you in the shop.